Hello and welcome to Crypto TV. I am your news host Parvati Nirban and let's go through the world of crypto with today's English news bulletin. Let's have a look at the headline first. India dashes crypto industry hopes moves tax amendment in finance bill. Bitcoin above $44,000 on hopes of wider adoption big investors demand. Qualcomm sets up 100 million dollar fund for metaverse investments. Oil giant Exxon is using excess natural gas to mine Bitcoin. Bank of England publishes first draft of crypto and DeFi regulations. Florida may soon accept crypto for state business taxes. One in three NFTs end up with little to no trading activity, report says. Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa release Ape Coin theme NFTs. India's finance minister moved the proposed amendment to the finance bill seeking to disallow losses from the transfer of a set of virtual digital assets including cryptocurrency to be set off against the gains arising from the transfer of another VDA. The amendment also sought to disallow crypto mining infrastructure cost to be set off against the gains made from transfer of virtual digital assets. The amended bill will likely to be tabled in parliament on Friday. In its budget proposal, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman had proposed to tax any income from the transfer of virtual digital assets at 30% and levy a 1% tax on transfer of any digital asset. Crypto industry leaders had petitioned the government to allow a set off of losses from one VDA against another set and allow the cost of mining to be deducted from the gains. Minister of State for Finance Pankaj Chaudhary told Parliament recently the government will come out with a clear definition of virtual digital assets for tax purposes. Bitcoin, the biggest cryptocurrency, jumped to more than 3 week high in Asian trades Friday amid speculation of wider adoption after a Russia lawmaker suggested use of digital assets to trade energy with the rest of the world amid reports of wider acceptance by institutional investors. Pavel Zavalny, chairman of Russia's Congressional Energy Committee suggested Bitcoin could work as the country considers hard currency alternatives for oil sales as it explores way to overcome the harsh economic sanctions imposed by the US and its allies. Cryptocurrencies led by Bitcoin also gained on institutional investors and other big investor accumulation that includes Luna Foundation Guards plan to purchase 3 billion dollar of Bitcoin in short term and 10 billion dollar long term cryptos received an additional boost when larry fink the ceo of blackrock confirmed the world's biggest asset manager was exploring how to serve clients with digital currencies fink cited increasing interest from clients around digital currencies in a letter to shareholders Meanwhile the annualized rolling premium in 3 months bitcoin futures listed on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange a proxy for institutional participation rose to 4.8% in intraday trades Thursday the highest in nearly 3 months recently bitcoin was seen trading near $44100 up over 3% in the past 24 hours Ether the second biggest cryptocurrency traded near $3100 also up over 3% in the same time frame Elsewhere in the crypto market Solana was up by about 10% Technology giant Qualcomm has set up a 100 million dollar fund to invest in developers and companies building metaverse infrastructure The Snapdragon Metaverse Fund is designed to help unlock the next generation of spatial computing Qualcomm announced. The fund will target developers building immersive extended reality XR experiences in areas such as gaming, health, education and entertainment. Capital will be deployed via a combination of grants and investments from Qualcomm Ventures, the firm's venture capital arm. 
मेटावर्स इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट इज क्लोजली लिंक्ड विद द क्रिप्टो इंडस्ट्री owing to the involvement of blockchain and decentralized application and the use of digital currencies as a means of payment within it Exxon Mobil Corporation the largest producer of oil in the United States is testing a program whereby excess natural gas from North Dakota's oil wells would instead to be used for mining proof of work cryptocurrencies The pilot program is being conducted in collaboration with Cruso Energy System INC Launched in January 2021, the pilot project has used 18 million cubic feet of gas monthly, which would have otherwise been wasted via its simply burning off. The process consists of utilizing natural gas from a back-end shale basin oil well from the operation of on-site mobile generators. These mobile generators host Bitcoin mining servers. The sources suggest that similar pilot projects are being considered in Alaska, Nigeria, Argentina, Germany and Guyana. Crusoe's investors include the Winkerwals brothers who are behind the crypto exchange Gemini, Bain Capital and Velour Equity Partners. England could soon regulate the cryptocurrency industry for the first time. The Bank of England has published on Thursday, March 24th, the draft regulation entitled Financial stability in focus crypto assets and decentralized finance the report examines how the crypto sector is shaping up and what comes next the regulator believes that any cryptocurrency company that offers a service similar to the services offered by traditional financial companies has to be subject to similar regulations the boe launched a survey of banks existing exposure and future crypto plans setting a june 3rd deadline for responses the boe and financial conduct authority will carry out further work on rules for stable coins and consult on a regulatory model for systemic stable coins in 2023 blockfi and its counterparts like london based celsius offer more than 100 times more interest than regular banks it remains to be seen whether they can offer the same interest while subjecting themselves to strict regulations like banks the governor of florida ron desantis has said that the steps were being taken so that his state could accept bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies for business tax payments desantis also revealed his skepticism toward a central bank digital currency while he embraced decentralized digital currencies like bitcoin he was very concerned about biden's recent executive order on digital assets however he did not expand this concern last month governor jared polis of colorado said his state would accept cryptocurrencies for tax payments by this summer however these state tax payments would first be converted to fiat currency both wyoming and arizona seems to have similar plans Many politicians within Florida have a pro crypto stance including Miami's mayor Francis Suarez he is the first major US politician to announce that he would accept his entire salary in bitcoin That's all for today's news for daily news and updates keep watching crypto tv I am your news host Parvati Nirban signing off for now See you tomorrow same time with English news bulletin have a wonderful day